Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we are styling a turtleneck. So this is obviously fitting for the fall and winter season. It is my most worn item in the winter season, honestly, just because it's so versatile. And I'm gonna be keeping this specific black turtleneck on for the entire video, just because I do feel like it's the one that gets the most use. And it just goes with everything, you know? A black shirt in general, especially a long sleeve, is very flattering on everybody. And it also looks very sophisticated and chic. So obviously I love it. This one that I am wearing is from Uniqlo. I do not recommend shopping there all the time. They are a fast fashion brand, but they do have a great heat tech line that I have found works really, really well. So this actually keeps the warmth in and it doesn't make you overheat. So it's really fantastic for layering. So I'm gonna share with you guys five different outfits styling this turtleneck but before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already because I do post every week let's get started this first look is something I wear almost weekly I have my favorite wide leg trousers on which I will link my styling video for up above for you and I've created an ensemble with my black wool coat and a sweater to top it off and with the sweater, I like to tie this around the neck and shoulder area. I feel like it's a really creative way to keep warm, but also look very chic and put together. And then because it rains a lot, I've paired it with a pair of heeled boots. I feel like it elevates the look, but if you want a more casual vibe, then you could definitely put on some white sneakers and maybe a ball cap. And then just to elevate the look even more, I've paired it with my Tory Burch handbag. Now on to a more casual look here. This is something that could be worn for various occasions. The first one that comes to mind for me would be going to class or even a casual meal out. The ball cap here is mostly for practicality because this coat doesn't have a hood and it rains a lot here. That's something that I always try to consider during the fall season just because I hate when my hair gets wet. But it also serves a more stylish purpose by being a visual focal point since the rest of the outfit is quite plain. I chose to put on my brown belted coat because it adds a bit of color and then I've got those same boots on but opted for a larger tote to carry more things. I had to include a skirt in this video because I'm really trying to make use of this one that I've had for years. I actually wore this outfit yesterday for a meal with a girlfriend. I tucked the turtleneck into the skirt and I love how this combo creates the illusion of a dress. And on top of that, I have my thrifted oversized cardigan, which I've been living in lately. But because it's a heavier knit, I decided to go for a scarf instead of a full coat. I'd obviously have an umbrella with me for this look, but knits plus rain are definitely not a great combination. This look is a great day to night look in my opinion, and it feels really polished with the boots and the handbag, but you could also opt for a sneaker if you wanted something casual. This is an outfit that I put together for a day out in the rain, maybe walking around downtown or simply transiting from point A to point B. I'd recommend wearing a water resistant coat. This one isn't unfortunately, but I really liked the pairing of the dark beige and gray. The bucket hat is for practicality for the rain. And then the large scarf is also for practicality and warmth. And because it's a bulkier look, I decided to pair it with my small Tory Burch handbag again, but you could also try a fanny pack to pull the pieces together. And then finally, for some height, I put on my black heeled boots and that really pulls it all together and connects with the handbag color too. Last but not least, we have another trench coat look. This time I've got my skinny blue jeans on and I layered a white button up over the turtleneck. It adds warmth, but then it also adds some dimension to the look. And instead of buttoning it up all the way, I kept it open and I think it gives off a really nice effortless feel to the outfit. This is something that I would wear in a more professional environment simply because it is a little bit more clean polished with the shirt. But if you work in a more strict office, you could switch the jeans for a pair of trousers and then you could keep the boots on for you know a rainy day or just put on a kitten heel. 
And there you have it, my friends. Those are my five different outfits styling this black turtleneck. I hope you enjoyed this video or found it helpful. And if you did, as always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. And comment down below which outfit was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.